Okay, wanna go bug hunting but don't know what you need? Here's a foolproof guide to what you need to pack in your bag. Before you pack your bag, you will need notebooks. They come in all kinds of sizes. As long as you can write in them and you've got pencils to write with, you're good to go. Inside, there can be anything. There can be writing, there can be drawings. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's got the vital pieces information in. That will be what you found, whether it be a loose description, when you found it and where you found it. You can use fancy grid reference numbers, you can use names of roads or names of woods. It doesn't really matter as long as you're generating that information. First thing, you're going to need a bag. A big black one. Actually, it doesn't matter what type of bag. As long as it's got loads of pockets, stuff to put all your gear, the more pockets the better. Make sure it's comfy, make sure it fits all your stuff in. Simple. This is probably the most important. It's... A magnifying glass. Without a magnifying glass you won't see anything. This is a times 10, you can get times 20, doesn't matter. Put a loop on it so you don't lose it, otherwise you end up leaving them in the field. Obviously if you're outside all day and you're walking around you're going to need some water. Keep yourself hydrated, keep yourself safe, especially if it's hot. You then need something to put your bugs in. So I use tubes. These ones are glass, you can get plastic ones, you can get them in varying different sizes. These are a pop top which means they're easier to put things in when you're one-handed. There's a larger one, put things like bumblebees in it, and this is a plastic one. Plastic ones do scratch, so they're not as good to take photos through. Just good to know. Obviously, you need something to put your tubes in. Little plastic box, could be a tin, doesn't matter, as long as your tubes fit in it, and it stops them from breaking in your bag. This is my field guide. Without it, I don't know what half the stuff is. So it's really important you have a good one. This is Brock's comprehensive guide to it, insects. It's amazing, it's got everything in it. Um, if you want to go further with insects, you probably need to do keys, but ultimately this will start you off on bug hunting. Uh, it's all you really need, to be honest. Um, everything else is just an added extra. If you're digging, you will need a trowel. Doesn't matter how big, as long as it's strong, it's sturdy, and it digs in the ground. Really good for catching things like dung beetles. If you're playing with things like dung beetles, you will need some gloves. These are really good for dealing with dead stuff as well, uh, digging through fox carcasses or badger carcasses like I have. Make sure they fit your hands. Um, the more you have, the better. Really good to have. Just remember you've got them, yeah? The next piece of equipment is good if you're dealing with dark areas like caves. Um, it's a torch. Make sure it's got batteries in it. Um, it's also quite good for looking at things like water troughs because you can see the bottom and any water beetles. Uh, really nice to have, but not necessary at all. For the health conscious, there's some alcohol gel. Wash your hands with it, make sure you don't get ill at all by playing with any gross stuff. If you're in the sun, you'll want some sun cream, stop yourself burning. This is factor 30, so I can spend the longest amount of time in the field. There's nothing cool about sunburn, guys. It absolutely sucks, especially when you're wearing a backpack. Next is a pooter. Uh, this is ideal for catching small things out of nets, out of beach sheets, underneath rocks, especially if they're small and they're fast. Um, one ends for putting in your mouth, the other ends for sucking up all the bugs that go into the central chamber here. Um, mine's plastic, just because I find they break too easily if they're all glass. If you're serious about bug hunting, then you'll probably want a net. This is a spring net, so it fits quite small in your bag. Um, this one's uh, ideal for catching fly insects, because you can see them through it, because it's partly see-through. Um, I always have it with me just in case, but I don't use it that much, because I usually go for beetles. This side, however, I do use a lot. This is my sweep net. You can tell by the colour of it, I use it a lot. Um, it's fantastic for catching all kinds of things in all kinds of scenarios. So if you're going to invest in a net, invest in a sweep net. Right, your bag's packed. Now you're ready to go bug hunting. Good luck.